Hello everyone, just a quick message before the episode. Uh, thank you so much uh, for supporting us since day one. This is our 10th episode. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you subscribe. Um, and do like this video if you have been here from the very start. Please do comment what you'd like to see from us in the future. On a side note, uh, the current situation in Turkey and Syria, which you may have heard of, um, is quite a dire situation. If you wanted to help, if you wanted to contribute a little bit, uh, to those who have been affected there is a link down below in today's video that you can click on uh, and you can donate through uh, cap foundation they are currently raising money to provide aid and support for those who have been affected in turkey and syria uh, any little contribution is a massive help and remember charity does not decrease your wealth um, but yeah thank you very much and without further ado uh, we hope you enjoy the video hello and welcome to the lads talk podcast you're listening to Sadiq, Daniel, Garris and Jimmy. Um, before we start, it's been a while since I asked you guys how you are. I'm good, thank you, man. Just been working a lot, man. Yeah. Daniel, how are you? I'm good. What about yourself? Good. He changed it to yourself. <laughs> yourself. Good. What about you? Good, good, good. Some things are changing, yeah? Um, <clears throat> okay. In the spirit of change... Um, we wanted to obviously look at certain things uh, today, which we'll get into. But um, obviously, last time we talked about the seasons changing, the year already flying through. Um, but one thing which uh, sometimes is left behind, yeah, is a change of pace in your own mind, right? So what I mean to say is, especially guys like. When we're, like Gary said, you're working a lot. Uh, when you're working a lot, when you're kind of involved in life uh, in a deep manner, you sometimes leave your mental health behind, right? Uh, and there are certain things which uh, get overlooked or swept under the rug, so to speak. Um, and I just wanted to kind of gauge everyone's views on this topic today of mental health. Um, so let me start off with a statistic today okay um, and you might have he heard of this statistic before but uh, I'll say it again anyway so three times as many men as women die by suicide three times more men than women yeah. alright so every year yeah three times more like more men die than women by suicide yeah and the ages that they commit suicide are between the ages of 40 and 49 yeah so I wanted to ask, obviously some people may have heard this before. If you haven't heard it, well, here's, there's some new information for you. Um, but I wanted to ask, why do you think that is? Uh, and we'll start off with, um, who do we start off with? Who wants to go first? So um, there's this stereotype here when it comes to males, guys, or whatever you, however you want to call it, that they can't show emotions or be soft type of thing or cry. So they keep it all in, and in my opinion, it, that just builds up, and there's a it, it could potentially lead to you know suicide. And yeah, that's what's happened there. That's what I personally think. Okay. All right, Jamie, what do you think? Um, similar to Garris, there's loads of things pressured towards men. Uh, they can't. They have to be this so-called, what's the thing, sigma male, is it, or alpha male? You have to be strong and independent and brave and all this all the time. You can't show the soft side. You can't be weak. You can't be, you can't show your emotions, similar to Gary Sigma, what he was saying. And there's a lot of pressure that men go through mental health stuff goes above the Richter scale is sometimes it's mental and literally it's mental um, and yeah there's just loads of things men can't do they get all this pressure job wise career wise same thing um, family wise um, mental health wise uh, stuff to do with the body physically Physical strength, mental strength, emotional strength, all of these things. And you can't you can't show weakness. That gets to be that gets to guys. 
that's quite insightful actually uh danielle what about you i think um social media made the worst um, definitely it's like i've seen many videos yeah. like you get a girl here which is like a two out of daniel from a fat nothing going for her and she expects like a six six foot guy and 100k and be some nuts so, uh, brother what do you bring to the table to be demanding such things um yeah and then then they bring this sort of thing they might be like four foot one they four foot one yeah <laughs> and then they bring the standard oh yeah the guy needs to be six foot nine brother you're four foot one 70 80 kg and you want a guy who is six foot one making 100k and what would you bring to the table bro and yeah um it's like we need to sell but they can get to pick whatever they want like oh, it doesn't make any sense bro. So, so the kind of general consensus here is that uh, there's an imbalance in how men are treated to, compared to how women. Oh, are treated, yeah, hundred yeah? percent. <clears throat> but then he goes, okay, worse. Yeah, let's talk about, for example, um, allegations from females. There's like so many cases where like the guy didn't do nothing. For example, I don't know that Muslim guy um, that recently got released, and they found out he wasn't even like. Um, he didn't even commit the crime. He was in prison for like 20, 30 years or something. Oh, I've seen something like his that. Life, life got wasted. Yeah, I don't remember his name actually, man. Um, but yeah. And he's like something 50. It's like, really um, old now, isn't he? And he spent most of his like, most yeah, of, it's like, years yeah. of his life in prison. And that's his life gone. Yeah, and they offer him like a certain amount of money, but yeah, it's not going to be his, uh, 20 years that he wasted. His... Would you waste 20 years of your life? Yeah, and then, you know, as a reward, you get no. like one million pounds when you get released. That's no one knew. One million for every then. year. No, like, so 20 years in prison and you get a million pounds. No. Cool. Some people will say otherwise, but I would say the same. I wouldn't. <clears throat> what about you, Sade? Uh, About the prison thing? Yeah, 20 years in prison. Just no, no, get no. One million. no. No, money oh. can't buy time back, man. 20 yeah. years that's of your youth, if you think about it. You know what I mean? Uh, like I'm not sure of the uh, what do you call them the lifespan of a human anymore, but I've seen like you know in before that the average kind of lifespan is sixty years yeah, so up to sixty years you're you know you've got your youth you've got time to do stuff after sixty any time you go after that it's like bonus years, so you imagine twenty years of that being taken off that's that's not you know can't be covered by any money in, in all honesty, um. But obviously, we're talking about men's mental health, but we're not ignoring that mental health issues can occur in, you know, loads of Anyone, people, yeah. um, all sorts of people. Uh, yeah, but it's just that it's kind of slightly overlooked when it comes to men. And I was yeah, just looking at the kind of... Because um, there's this known, like, you need to be strong, you're not allowed to cry and all of that. Um, and yeah, obviously it affects you because you're holding everything inside. How long are you going to be able to hold it you break? But here's here's where I'm going to disrupt the piece a bit, yeah? yeah. Uh, with, you know, like, you have to be strong, you have to, you know, earn the money and stuff. Mm-hmm. In all honesty, I think that yeah. a, man, a man's job is to kind of, you know, provide and be strong and, you know, be that figure. But yeah. I think that the world we're living in is where... The standards are so high. Encouraged. It's not that. It's we're encouraged to live a... Um, Perfect life, not perfect. It's there's and a word a, a a passive life. We're meant not passive. It's like we're meant to sit back a bit, yeah? yeah. And do you know what I mean? Like for example, work back in the days, it wasn't always office jobs and things like that. Work was go on the fields. You know, utilize your genetic power. kind of strength and power to actually do the work, right? Now yeah. what's work? You sit in an office and you type on a computer. You know, you're nine to five. You're sitting in that posture. You're getting overweight. You don't have time. Plus, you're working the whole day. You come home enough time to sleep. Like men before, I don't think men used to talk about mental health anyway. But it's that their life used to suit their lifestyle used to suit not talking about their mental health. Do you know? Do you, do you get where I'm coming from? And then on top of that, it's kind of like because we have. Um, this standard of in the workplace you know like there's women now who work in the same workplace and then you're kind of on the same level and do you know what i mean like there's just so many imbalances and inequalities that it's hard to keep up with um but one one thing which kind of irks my brain yeah it really irritates me is 
you know the punishment yeah. that is provided to men is so much more harsh yeah. than than the opposite gender right mm-hmm. the reason why i say this it's not just like oh yeah you know what you mentioned mm-hmm. or you know things like that punishment like think about the workplace yeah punishment yeah. in the workplace mm-hmm. i've been in workplaces where i made a mistake i'm a new employee yeah i'm bound to make mistakes i make a mistake it's not where i currently work but previously uh, another another job um i've made a mistake yeah and this was a very fe- female dominant workplace by the way yeah and i made a mistake it's a huge humongous big deal everyone's angry about it everyone's upset i'm a new guy i've been working there one month yeah everyone's you know angry about it one of the normal employees who've been working there for seven eight years made a much more major mistake and what happens is proper soft it's all soft nah yeah no it's okay oh you know what mistakes happen i'm like whoa why and i asked i asked one of the uh workers there i said how come like i got kind of a very aggressive response like oh come on my man up why why are you getting upset about that (laughs) excuse me we're doing apparently we're, we're equal here okay i'm doing the same job i done a less uh, you know severe mistake and i got you know bollocked like that and yeah and then i'm told i'm told man up yeah what do you, what do you mean man up do you, do you understand what i mean so that's where it grinds my gears a bit and i feel like you know what would my response have to be you know back to that what do you mean man up and then this and this and then have a long conversation men as far as i know me personally i don't like discussing stuff it's like all right problem there let's just solve it and move on that's how i am as a person yeah but you know starting that conversation of oh man up and i'm meant to say what do you mean man up and argue i don't have time for that so what do i do build it up in my brain and then you know try and release it somewhere else or try to you know get over it and i feel like lots of people uh go through that um do you guys have any experiences like that where you have to bottle up your emotions because you can't afford to let it out because you're going to be seen as aggressive or scary you i remember but yeah i've had a couple a while ago I was talking about, remember the call sense, I was like, oh, the guy's sexist yep. and stuff. He definitely really stays off. He already mentioned this in the um, podcast. Yeah, many times. Um, you, didn't, you didn't go into the the sexist part, so uh, why don't you tell us a bit more? And it's like, if you make a mistake, yeah, it's like, you will get a rubber fist. Or if someone else does it, like, no. And you will just, like, um, be gentle and be like, okay next time do this and that um and it's like if you make the same mistake yeah you might say oh yeah yeah from this this week yeah you ain't coming again yeah just like because you like made a mistake and so for for her you might be like oh yeah it's fine um it's all right just, just like carry on but try to like work smaller next time and yeah and uh, garris any experiences that as well mm, like jamie i don't have any in mind but yeah Definitely have. See, when you were saying about like you'd with you personally, you wouldn't want to open up and stuff and talk about stuff like that. I'm a little bit different. I would oh, yeah. like to, but it's always it's it's not the inside. It's the outside world. It's other people how they're gonna perceive it and how they're gonna judge you on it. So I'm a little bit different. I would like to. It's just depending on the people you hold it back. To. Yeah, you have to find the right yeah. people. To talk about that stuff and what's sort of been on with it yeah, yeah. it's just so, other people that's the problem not me in my instance so you know where you said that you like kind of hold it in depending on around depending on who like other is. people yeah, who yeah, you're yeah. around basically yeah um i want to ask then jamie yeah you know how much like let's say you're walking down the street let's say you're in a shop let's say you're at school like it doesn't matter like any of these circumstances that and whoever's listening any circumstance that you can think of okay uh, and do let us know in the comments below but how do you feel you know when um you're just doing a normal thing okay and let's pretend you're at work and you're doing a task and people are kind of looking at you how do you feel forget being a man or whatever just you as a person how does that make you feel when people are just looking at you uh sometimes or if they haven't like quickly glancing over at me it's like nothing but when it's those long constant stares or they're looking over like short again short glances but multiple times so okay, well, why are they looking? Or well, the one, the one thing I do is a bit more different. When I'm on the bus, or if I'm walking, or again in shops, when I hear laughing, now and again I feel like, are they laughing at me? Is this yeah. on me? 
they're laughing about, and I get a bit thinking about that. I get paranoid, if you will, about that. I always something with my hair, is there something with my clothes? Is it the shoes? Is it this? Is it that? So I get that, and then again back to the stairs. Yeah, if it's like long, long stairs, like that, constantly looking at you, or multiple glances over to you, like several times, then yeah, I get a bit paranoid about that, I guess. Yeah, no, fair enough. And um, I am leading into a question here, but uh, Daniel, just be, uh, what would your experience be when people are, like look at you like that? <laughs> We've had them. Maybe we went out. We <laughs> oh my look. god! Don't even talk about <laughs> this guy, man. What he yeah. gets? Um, let's let's not talk about that because somebody's <laughs> listening to this, and well, um, it's more like um, how do <laughs> how would you describe it? Well. Is my ego? Like, what are we talking about? No, like, does it annoy you? Or, like, why are you looking at me? What's the... Uh, does it affect you when people look at you? I mean... Or stare at you? So I say look, I mean stare. I don't even know if, if it's anger or it's, oh, it's, like... Just confusion. I don't even know, man. Uh, what? How do I feel? Like, I feel confused. You do a bit when me and you like... went... Wherever. Yeah, many times. Well. It's a bit of both. Anger and confusion. Like, why are you looking at me? Like, look away. Is there something yeah. on my face saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it never happens when I'm doing right. It's those. It's those. Right. Those long stairs. Like, what are you looking at? Say it if there's a problem. All right, then, Gary. So, what about you? What's your experience with that? Uh, it's like what Daniel said. It's confusing, isn't it? They're like, why are you looking for that long? Am I doing anything wrong? Like, it's better awkward because, like, you're looking at me and, like, you're not saying anything. Say so. Yeah, yeah, I understand. So, so the question I'm leading into, and anyone can answer, but so that's how you feel when someone just glances at you or stares at you in public, right? Do you feel, as a guy or just as a person, what you do in life, what job you have, what kind of lifestyle you live, what kind of car you have, what kind of clothes you're wearing, do you feel like people, like they might not be looking at you, but certain people in your life, or around you they might look at you and they might think a certain way that oh oh yo he's got not you know an inexpensive car or he's got a very expensive car or he's got oh look at his clothes they're a bit you know dusty or his clothes are very nice or you know oh he's working a really rich job like really high paying job or he's oh he oh look at him he's just working retail does any of this ever come into your mind that you know what that person's thinking about me or people are going to think that i'm a nobody you feel embarrassed to kind of talk about it in front of other, who, people who are not your friends no honestly no it only matters um if it like um depends on the person if it, if i know someone and then kind of care about other than that if it's a no one i don't talk to them i don't read them it doesn't affect me you, you know when you say kind of care how, what what extent do you care Actually, like, actually, I don't really. I don't care, think honestly. any of us cares. Think about it. No, I don't really care, honestly. Like, well, it's, let's say you say, "Oh yeah, you say something to me," for example. Let me let me see how I feel about it. Say something. Like to um. You. <laughs> Uh, so last time we were talking about you know like when people go into their brother's house or something and they say oh why do you have that kind of heater or something like that or you couldn't afford something better or so you know someone says oh, yeah. to someone else oh you're only making a one thousand pound uh, but you could make uh ten thousand with what your you know your skills are and then they make people start doubting them so like oh yo you know what i'm not actually doing enough i was just Honestly, talking in that sense speaking yeah. yeah i don't think um i have people like that around me at all that's why I don't really like, yeah, no one actually ever said that to me. I would have the audacity to say it. It's like me going mm-hmm. to Gary's house and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, your room is like dusty, but well, like, I wouldn't really do that. Right, here's a question I wanted to ask, sorry. Yeah. So if you're from, from your point of view, you're like better off, would you say? Uh, I don't know how to put this. I've got the thing in my mind, I don't know how to say it. Um, but basically, if you were coming from something better, would you judge someone else yeah. like us? Say, um, one of us is looking at someone else, and they're worse off. Would you judge them because mm-hmm. you're better off, or is or say, say like me, I'm saying as Gary, it's my house saying that my mum might be a little bit thing here and there. Um, so yeah. I'm not going to judge Gary's. 
Yeah. Would you lot think I'm like that just because I'm the same, or because I actually am like that? Like, think I'm just doing it? Honestly, or I actually, yeah, you, I actually am. Honestly, I, I don't care, and I'm gonna be nice about it. Or you think it's an act? That's what I think sometimes with people. Honestly, uh, the way you feel like it's like how you like. Let's say you got something. It's the way you treat it. If you're humble, yeah, you can like you can understand. Yeah, you have it right now. Tomorrow you might not have it again. So why are you gonna judge someone else? They might be not rich right now, but in two, three days they might like level up and then they're higher than you. So it's about being humble, isn't it? Yeah. Like when you and honestly, like, well, how how does it affect you overall? Like you're still you're talking to a person, not how like they are or like what they wear or like you read the person as they are. Yeah, not the not really what they have. Objects or stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. But like, I wouldn't judge people for the house if it was a little bit messy or untidy. No, man. And it's like someone who... I wouldn't either, honestly. Even if like, he was better off. Like, the connection even with if the he person, was better off, would you still? Things that they have. No. Just because... No. Like, a poor person wouldn't judge another any time. poor person, would they? Because they're in the same position. But if you was higher, would you still judge them for yeah, their house man. being a bit more untidy? Because, because we want to... No. <laughs> How about yourself? Like, like, why do people do that? How is it benefit you in any way? Or on both, judging both sides, somebody yeah, else. it's not. On both sides, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I don't understand. Like, why do like let's say, like, because we're right now we're the same, in it? But let's say in the future we're going to have, well, it depends, but we're going to be, be a bit better. I don't think any of us will judge. We're, like, we don't care, in it? It's just they're yeah, living their life. Let's say, that's what you need. Whatever condition or whatever, you know, whatever they have in their life. And for me... Um, I don't know. I'm just grateful. Like, I don't care. Like gratitude. Like, I have gratitude. Mom does. Yeah. Yeah. Humbleness. Yeah. I was gonna say. Um, mm. I think because of uh, Islamic values. Yeah. yeah. The, when I see someone that has a certain thing, um, I try to look always at what's positive. Like, let's say, uh, I think Jamie said, "Oh, you know, if my house is a bit messy compared to yours or something." But why do like for example, uh, the other day you kitted up your room, yeah. Yeah. Right, and you put set, it. By the way. You know, you put your decorations or you put your kind of the new setup and everything, and I was just like, you know, inside, I don't know if I said it. I was like, oh, mashallah, like that's the kind of a cultural thing that we say in it, like, oh, you know, that looks good, attributed to God and whatnot. But I don't know. I have this culture of like, oh, okay, that's such a nice thing. In that moment, I could have. Uh, you know other people maybe they would have been like oh yeah that's small or that's a, a large room or this you know this is like this that, that's like that I just think if someone's taken pride and happiness into what yeah, they've worked hard on time. that I should also take pride in that yeah Instead take time into like where, where I live isn't no mansion right but even me I take so much pride in you know when I clean monthly or whatever week by weekly I, I feel really proud that oh look it's so nice and tidy yeah. and whatnot and I feel like it's not nice enough. It's not good enough to go and uh, dampen people. Yeah, I'm down. almost jealous about but you. But at man. the same time, if I could have all you, that house. I'd... <laughs> say mashallah. Say mashallah right now. <laughs> Please. If I could have <laughs> no. what you have right now, man, I'm jealous. In a way. Say mashallah. This guy give me another man. Say mashallah right now. All right. This is a white nazar. It's more deadly. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, no, no. Uh, jokes aside, like there's another thing that I w- I would say this. I don't know if it's controversial, but you know, like. Um, some people, let's say, okay, there was this one time I was buying a car, okay, um, and the guy, he was uh, Bengali, he knew my dad from like the mosque or something, or work actually, so my dad's like, oh yeah, yeah, he must be a nice guy, da da da, we went, and he took us into his house, okay, uh, like, because he knows, and he like, was feeding us tea and stuff, hear me out, okay, please don't judge me, yeah? I went into the guy's house, he smells of weed, yeah, this is a like 40, 50 year old guy who smells of weed, yeah? His car's like a bit weird and uh, like smells of weed as well. And then going to his house, the front living room is like a storage cupboard. There's just toys everywhere, dirt everywhere. And I was like, oh my God, like I can't believe someone can live like this. Do you know what I mean? Like it might sound bad, but I, I did judge him in that moment. In that moment, I was like, oh, what is this? You shouldn't feel that, shouldn't be that bad, man. Daniel tries his best, man. He cleans every day. Allow him. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yeah. <laughs> I'm no, Bengali now. No, but he, you know, it was, it was. I'm not talking about, you know, like normal messy. Yeah, I'm talking about filthy, filthy. There's like 
I, I didn't see any yeah, that would be a lie but I, I'm sure rats are just like Hi, running man. around there yeah it's got a whole colony then this guy so I judged him based off of that yeah you know when he said the car's fine and whatnot yeah? it was actually a nice car when he said this car I judged straight away and I told my dad I'm, I'm not buying that car no way I don't trust it yeah went home guess what this guy he had my number obviously because I called him to check out the car he calls me that uh, same day around 6 30 in the afternoon and he sounds slurry like he's like oh, he's uh, hello I the, let's yeah. go we're gonna go let's go he's saying weird stuff like that i'm like what the hell like? and then i just realized like put two and two together i was like oh he's high <laughs> <laughs> i was like no. like but in in that moment yeah the, what i'm trying to explain is like his house was doing everything i did judge him but sometimes uh, after uh, afterwards i was like what's wrong with that guy or like what's so <coughs> difficult about his life that he's turned to weed for example if he uh, is taking weed he he's turned to weed he, you know he's he doesn't clean his house like what what is difficult about his life that he can't do that do you know what i mean so it's not like judging people it's like i want i really do want you just good want for to people. know what made it's them just, get into that state yeah. what made them what led them to that state do yeah. you get me so I is so like is th- is that a bad thing to think like that or is that like what do you guys think? Mm. <clears throat> okay, oh, it sounds bad. Huh? All right. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's <laughs> I'm a bad person. Nah. Because if I was in your position, yeah, I would do the same thing. But then um, I probably would have. To be honest. But then I'll be like, you should know better type of thing, isn't it? But at the same time, you can't blame them. And yeah. Yeah, and like um, it's not only that. I also was like, I I hoped like I was like, oh, you know, I hope that his life improves and stuff like. I also think like that too, but um, sometimes you can't help it. Anyway, the whole reason why I even brought this up was, you know, like some people mentally they're affected because they can't live their life without thinking about what other people think about them. And someone did this. I can't remember if I read in a book or somewhere. I read it somewhere, but it's people maximum when they look at you on the street walking past not a single person cares for more than two minutes about what you look like what you're wearing what you're doing yeah maximum two minutes you'll be on their head in in their mind and then that you're gone yeah but we take so much time to look after our appearance and to look after how we look and how we sound and and all this stuff yeah and it's like for two minutes of thought to someone that's that's why we care so much do you know saying, what i mean but we like we do, we uh, do, do you guys you? obviously if everyone is different i don't you either do it for someone or you're doing it for yourself i do get paranoid about my hair i take about an hour brushing my hair in total you take an hour on your not hair? in a row but like every now and again but i'd probably spend like an hour in total brushing my hair i get paranoid about it but yeah at the same time i wanted the long hair so it's kind of my own fault yeah like when i go to Lidl or like just just shopping, shopping i just yeah, wear yeah. like i look i look so bad <laughs> i look so bad like my shoes are bad my clothes <laughs> are bad to be honest uh, like but, <laughs> no but i don't look oh uh, look i uh, maybe i'm ugly yeah but I, i'm not presentable <laughs> look, look look i can't help being ugly but i can present myself nicely do you know what i mean but i choose not to because i'm like i don't care what people think <laughs> but there's people around me they're like like a suit, what the hell? Piece like, suit what <laughs> yeah no not three piece suit but like just presentable like nice you know clean look you know what i mean but i just can't be bothered i'm like i'm just going to shops and back um or if you're just going for a walk uh, or for a run so, exercise you're just exercising you're gonna get sweaty anyway so like why bother yeah that's it and um it doesn't help that i'm the main character in it so it's like people always look at me as well it's like <laughs> <doesn't>, it, <laughs> I'm joking, you're the I'm main joking. character am i uh, Listen, <coughs> listen. You, yeah. you're the side character. Side you quest. That's what they call it. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. As you grow, yeah, you don't like, it's like you start to get less about people, what they say, what they think. And there's people out here like um, they need to fake a friendship or whatever just to fit in, so like they don't talk shit about them. I don't know if you explain that. So. Like let's say oh, yeah, you work in a place, so, yeah, so. and even though you don't want to talk to them and stuff. You need to kind of force yourself because you know, yeah, deep down they're gonna be talking about you and they're gonna judge you so much. So you need to act fake with them. Mm-hmm. No, never happened. 
as in you're trying to impress them basically so they don't yeah. start back chatting about you yeah, 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 yeah but i think that means you have to re- re-evaluate who you have i don't know about most, um but... you guys but you <clears> know, <throat> <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, when you have Mufti yeah. Day, like back then, yeah, yeah, Mufti Day, Mufti day. when you pay like a pound like, of well, charity, is... you get to wear your own clothes. Uh, oh, non uniform day, yeah, non uniform because, um, people are very judgmental, innit? At that age, I was like kind of anxious and scared and worried how people would judge me because I didn't have really like good clothes back then. Yeah. And I remember this one time for primary school, yeah, I literally didn't wear anything. I went with my school uniform. I've got one thing to see you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of how they're going to judge my clothes. Fuck it. Let's come with my birthday suit. suit. <laughs> of all the suits, you wear your birthday suit. Frick it, birthday suit is. Yeah. Um, that was. Oh, yeah, there was a time. Let me tell you. Basically, yeah, six. Like yeah. I. You know, um, uh-huh. when you do an uh, end of year play or something. Um, yep. there was this time where this guy, he called me poor, and I remember I literally dashed out crying. I was fully like crying. And the Bro. reason why he called me poor is no, when so you have a um, class party. Yeah, what's his name? <laughs> you pay your visit. <laughs> when you yeah, have yeah, uh, yeah. class parties, no one took me in, man. No <laughs> one took me in. Yeah, there was this one group that took me. And they told me to get something, I forgot, some drinks, some sauce, barbecue sauce. But back then, because um, I don't know much, neither did my parents. We just got what we knew in it from literally Sainsbury's. <laughs> I think it was Sainsbury's. And behind my back, oh, I knew from man. that guy that a lot of people were chatting shit about me. That's so deep. <laughs> so I'm so angry right now. <laughs> And then after, yeah, then after you hit it. It was during the rehearsals. But then when I think back now, it's just that, like, you shouldn't care in it. Why does it matter? What, what are you going to gain from them? If they do judge you, they don't pay a penny for you, do they? What about people whose parents, for example, or their siblings judge them? And they live in the same house. They can't, literally can't escape them because they literally... Oh, you're useless. You're rubbish. You've not, ach- you've not achieved nothing. Look at that person doing this. Look at that. What about those people? What what advice could we give to them? It's very hard because at that time, yeah, everyone, literally most people, they just, they don't know how to deal with it. Even if you do give the advice, I don't know, from what I know and stuff, it, um, yeah, it's just, they just take it very, very deep. All right, one advice which, like, I hear a lot, yeah, is, and it's, it's, it's okay advice, yeah, but I, I want to hear your thoughts on it, okay? <clears throat> someone's feeling depressed yeah and i'm not talking about very sad i'm saying depressed like they are literally going through the motions like really difficult time okay and the advice that's given to them i think i've given this advice plenty of times is you know what it's okay to be depressed yeah it's okay not to be okay about right because it's an emotion yeah so it's okay not to be okay it's okay to be depressed and this kind of this these kind of phrases are said right and what happens is i've said it before and what i mean is you know you're sad you're upset you're depressed you know it's okay because you need to understand what's wrong right but some people they give that advice and i've seen it they give that advice and then they leave the person alone with that thought that it's okay like just carry on <laughs> carry on you're depressed carry on you know it's all right minor like what do you think of oh, that? It's like kind of um, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Do you mean like that or not? There's a way yeah, of phrasing yeah. sentences and how people say it comes across bad or like you shouldn't have said that. Yeah, because I feel like people don't have time for each other enough. So like they say, oh yeah, you're depressed. Oh that's okay. You know, you will get through it. It's gonna be fair enough. Right. You said that yeah, but you need to uh, check up on it. them at the same time. I like, not just leave them like that. Just check up on them. Isn't there anything else we can do? Spend time with them. Yeah, go see them, go out with them one on one. No, 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 but when you talk about busy, no, no, no. So I feel like busy, nowadays, yeah. Check up, innit? I don't know if you, if you can't go, just check up on them when you can. And obviously, like what Daniel said, isn't it? You have to spend time with them. 
I feel like nowadays, yeah, like people values other people's like words and like whatever they're good to say, yeah, too much. Even though they don't even spend time with them, it's like you don't even know the person, but you're still like um taking the words so seriously. Why do you even care? Like, what are they to you for you to be caring or like wasting your energy or your time on them? It's like let's say you're outside, yeah, and you see some. Like guy or something, he's like, "Well, your buzz. Like, what are you mean? Like, what's? That's how I feel. I don't know how you guys will feel if someone said that to you. Someone random you couldn't care about, basically. Yeah. You no, know, like, like people. What are you mean? Yeah. Some. No, loads of people have called me a buzz before, and I just tell them, like, can you stop pointing out obvious stuff, please? Like, can you tell me something new? You know. It's like, you know it's like I mean? the the term or phrase, like, stay in your lane. I guess. You're not gonna gain anything out of it by making comments. It's like it's like they're going the way they exactly. make comments. It's like they people gonna... still like take it seriously. They be flipping crying for years and years because some random guy that they don't even know about called them ugly or they said oh your shoes are ugly. But what they like? Okay, I got a question then. Um, so say someone is random. This is more a thing for me. This is like I'm trying yeah. to get advice or tips. If someone random says something mm-hmm. like that, either at, at work, down the street, randomly in a shop, should I react or should I like brush it? Not as it, no, no, I'm not ugly. Say someone said, oh, you're ugly. Oh, look at this shit coat. Should I react? Like, oh, not not like that. As in, like, excuse me, like, don't talk about my coat. Who are you? Or should I just, like, brush it off and, like, whatever and just walk away? Because in school, I'd do nothing, basically. I mean, that's a bit more different. That's brilliant. That's not just random person just commenting. But a random person commenting now yeah. as an adult, should I not say anything? Or should I just, like, hang on, like, who are you? Not react, like, oh, no, I'm not. Get all defensive as if I'm getting vexed, but react in, like, an, a mature adult way, or should I just not say nothing and just move on? Real on with my day. I'll be like, okay, so, like, what? So, what do you want me to do about it? Buy me a new one. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what, what do you want me to do about it? Turn it into a joke, like what you said, Sadiq. I feel like people that make them kind of comments, they like have no life. There's like nothing going for them, and they just like want to put other people down. That's how I feel about it. Uh, yeah, I'll be like, "Why are you here?" Or like, be like, "Yes." Yeah, so or like, "What do you want to do?" I'm on the third floor, floor. there in the basement, <laughs> about trying to bring me down to that level. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like, okay. why do you care? Bro? Like, move yourself. Like, can I can I give you an example? Yeah. So once I was in the tube, yeah, and I was with I was with someone, and what happened is, um. The tube was not uh, packed. It was just like everyone had a seat, right? So everyone was sitting down. So I'm talking to uh, my friend, right? I'm telling them. Um, basically, they were talking about... I can't remember how the conversation started. But I was like really proud of this one time when I was really young. I had to read like Quran in front of loads of people, right? And I was so scared and introverted at that time. I was shaking. And then it was like... I was just saying like oh and it was so scary because there was like 2,000 people in the mosque and then there's like another hundred or thousand people listening on the radio I was so scared da 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 and there's these two ladies opposite us and apparently they said I didn't hear it but they go oh wow like you know like they they made a comment like oh like get you do you know what I mean um person I was with uh heard it and didn't say anything and then they told me they're like oh yeah you know they said that I was like is it? I was like, oh, this is a bit lame, isn't it? And then I just realized what Danielle said. Like, they've got nothing going for them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> end of the day. End of the, end of the day. I was just thinking, like, it was a Saturday evening or something. They're probably off to some party or they're so off to some stupid thing because they've got no happiness in their life, yeah? Like, so what if I'm sh- sharing a story with my mate about something nice, you know, something that I enjoyed? You you can do what well. I'm not talking to you in the first place. And also, you don't know me. I don't know you. Get lost. But uh, so if Jamie, if someone ever like or makes a comment about what you're wearing, it's like, sorry, like, who are you to care in the first place? And, uh, you know, secondly, you're ugly. Can I say something? Like on the topic of um, like people judging you on the other side, yeah, there are like nice people who comment you or compliment you. Yeah, yeah. You don't know if they're being serious or if they're being sarcastic. No, no, no. I'm being like serious. Good compliment. Like, I've had a yeah, few I'm saying when I'm with out, me, I don't but know remember the Tamil event I went to last year, this, the light blue suit I wore, and I was going on the tube, yeah, yeah, so I knew it was going to oh, get yeah, a lot yeah, of attention, yeah, but I, was, I didn't care, really. I... and then, um, yeah, on the tube, like, a few people, oh, it's a really nice suit, and I was like, oh, thank you, 
So yeah, as well as I people don't know judging, how to react. Yeah. There's very few people who will comment like give you good comments or genuinely. Comments, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if people are being serious or if they're being sarcastic. So I don't know which people to be genuine. Oh, thank you very much. We're like, yeah, sure, whatever. I don't know. Has it happened to you, um, you guys? Um, I don't think random. Oh no, p- random people have like when I read, for example, they they'll compliment me. But uh, I'm when I was younger, especially, I had like lots of insecurity about my voice and you know all that stuff. So I couldn't accept it. And there's some people I know they can't accept compliments. It's so difficult to accept compliments because, like, why would you take your time to say that to me? Do you know what I mean? I can't. I couldn't understand that before. That, huh? <laughs> so, something weird. They're like, you got your own life. You're doing your own thing. You don't know me. Why are you complimenting for? That's a bit weird. Like some guy came up to me once. I was leading prayers in Ramadan, yeah. And one guy he came at the end of um, like Ramadan, basically, and he said, "Oh, do you have a CD?" And I was like, what do you mean? Like, you need an empty CD? Like, what, what do you mean? And he goes, no, in the car. Do you have a CD? I was like, in my car? But I came with my friend. I don't know. I don't have a CD. And he was asking me. He had, like, a broken Arabic accent. He was asking me if I have a CD of my voice reciting Quran. Oh, that, bro. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I was like, no, 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 no. I don't. I don't have no CD. What are you talking about? I'm not, you know, I'm not like, you know, in that realm to have a CD or whatever. He goes, no, 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 you must have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, aren't you from Egypt? And stuff? I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> but, um, um, like, I, I, it's just so weird. Like, why would he say that? Okay. Well, obviously, later, I realize he's just complimenting me saying, you know, he must have liked how I read. That's it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I get Jamie's I've point. Had, like, it's story. so weird. Like, how do you. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. How do so you. So after. Uh, secondary school when I was into college with you two Gareth and Daniel I was walking to one of the classes either in the morning or something in the hallway downstairs you know the downstairs you know the one where the computer's in the middle and the desk's all the way around the edge I was walking to that one and there was two guys like down one end of the hall and I was walking to the room and he said oh nice shoes now remember this is me fresh out of secondary school so I was like no one's being nice I've had nothing but hate so I didn't think he was being nice. I was like, in my head, like, yeah, whatever. I didn't think he was being genuine at all. He's like, oh, no shoes. I'm like, shut up. Yeah, so I didn't know, like that. Yeah, but when it's in public, I, didn't know if he's I think serious. it's genuine. It was in the college, walking to the class, inside, in like the hallway, and he's like, oh, yeah, you know, nice shoes. people, I didn't know, it's 50 I didn't like, are you being a kid or are you being... Yeah, see, I don't know. But when it comes to, like, proper public outside, like, no, if you go, oh, I know it's genuine. Not the no, I still don't know. It's still to this day, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't want to do it in case I do the wrong one. You understand? Mm. Like in case he's being sarcastic, but I react mm. genuinely. Like, oh, thank you. I don't know, so I normally don't say anything. Same again. I basically can't take a compliment. So I don't know. Daniel, what about you? Have you had anything like this? Even from family sometimes. <laughs> um, honestly, I guess, but I don't really remember. Oh, yeah. You know. <clears throat> Look, 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 listen, Daniel, <clears throat> Daniel, I'm, I'm your friend, so I'm going to tell you straight up, okay? Ew. Genuinely, genuinely, from yeah. what I've seen, you are one of the ugliest people I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, just, okay, just, <laughs> all right, but, but, sure, like, I'm, sh- I'm sure you have a good personality, I haven't seen it, but I'm sure you do, all right? Um, I mean, oh, buddy. You. It's not about the looks, it's the Wait, interesting fact, by the way. What? Uh, 78% of UK... Uh, I think it's teenagers or something yeah. haven't seen a cow in yeah. real life, and what? I find that ridiculous. Do you know why? Because I see Danielle every week. I, I don't know how they. <laughs> oh, could... <laughs> I do it again. I do it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But but seriously, seventy eight percent of um, kids haven't Ooh, seen a cow. Yeah, and uh, do you know what? That's actually social media's fault. Yeah, you know, like. Everything's so desensitized now. Like going outside, yeah, it's a joke. Or go touch grass, or like you know, going to visit a farm and a zoo. Like how many people visit zoos now? I like doing that. Yeah. Too. I I loved I, I love doing that yeah. stuff. I don't have a good one close up. You belong there. This but, way. Close enough, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, hey, see, the meme that the meme I told you about, which no, one? Well, like ages ago, about how back in the days, um, they would say I'll come back into I stop playing, and now yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, yeah, they want us yeah. to Not no. us, but like you know, the generation right now. Yeah, so it's um, it's crazy. Like obviously, we're st- we're talking about mental health, 
but everything yeah. is so how many memes are there about depression or how many memes are there about uh, anxiety or to be honest the next topic i want to go into is how many memes are there about you know um serious things like i don't know if we're going to get um flagged or anything but you know about not living anymore you know what i mean like not taking life seriously how many people um like know how to talk to other people in person do you know what I mean? Um, as teaching where I teach right now, I'm telling you, people have no social skills as well, and what hurts people, what offends people, like no people have no idea about this stuff anymore. I don't know why that is. Uh, what do you guys? What's your thoughts like? Yeah, loads of people always, always see people walking down the street with their phones glued to their faces, like for long. I do it now and again to switch a song. That's it. To skip or replay or do a song, but people like glued to it, and I'm. I got to move out the way for them. Like, can you not see where you're going? I like, put the phone down for a sec. And then people on trains always got their phones out. Where us lot, if we go to London, and we meet up, we have to go on the train together. We're sitting there chatting away, and then there's other people glued to their phones. I sound to be on our phones as well. You know, you're not that long though. No, sorry, I didn't. I'm the last one. Oh, but then they could say, "There's sorry." Uh, then there's. Then you could say the other sort of thing like you think technology's ruined us, and then there's a picture of people back in the olden day. Everybody on the train's got a newspaper in their hands. <laughs> Not talking either. So. <laughs> like, if, if someone says that about me, look, look this technology is ruined you. Look, you're glued to your phone. I'll just show them that. Like, look, there's all these grown adults glued to the newspapers. Not socialized. <laughs> These are just different versions. I'll tell you one thing which really irritates me. Yeah? Um, you know when something bad is happening. And what do people do? Not run into the street or call for the police or something. The first thing they do is pick up their phone oh. to start recording. <gasps> oh my god, he's gonna jump! Or oh my god, he's getting attacked by a dog! Oh my god, he's getting rushed! What are you doing? Like, how do you think that's normal? Do you know what I mean? And then they uh, just want the the thing is, yeah, because of social media, they want to go to the big um, social media pages, the meme pages, like be known. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously they want to tag their username, and they, they just want to basically gain popularity. Let's say, like in the same way, for example, when someone's upset, yeah, I'm I'm guilty of this. Um, like let's say I made someone angry, okay, and uh, they're saying something to me, and I'm, I don't know, like I'm. What they said is a bit funny in terms of. Uh, you know, maybe they shouldn't be angry about that thing. I thought, and instead of saying, "Oh, you know, listen, I'm sorry about upsetting you, etc." I start sending laughing emojis. Like, imagine someone just told you something really deep, like their deep feelings, and what you do is you reply with emojis. Like, <laughs> this is a bit. Yeah, you know, instead of calling, you just need to know. Like with us, we uh, we know when to do that. No, you need to learn when to. You know, we just said from the example that you're using. When it's a deep. Convert and don't send any like funny emojis or jokes in it. Just comfort them, support them, help them. But then obviously other times when you know that they're joking about having fun, mocking about, then you can just do the emojis and joke about. So you need to know your differences. Yeah. Because if you don't, then it's just going to confuse the other person, and also it's going to show them that oh, you don't care, and it's just going to make them worse for them. Yeah. Yeah, like he doesn't, or he, you know, they don't actually care about me. Um, you know, what's the point of talking to them? And then yeah, they like, like shut off after that. Yeah, exactly. They're already made to going for a lot. You, they're opening up to you, and then because of your reaction, they're like, oh, like because their knowledge is not that great. You double like, because oh, this person done it. Everyone's just like that. Just shut off, and then yeah, just go to like dark corner, I guess. Um. And... Yeah, I was I was gonna say so. And this is my last point. And if you guys have stuff to add, you can by all means. Uh, but my last point is, in the current climate that we're living in, all right. So people are going through tough times. Tough time never lasts. Only tough people last. <laughs> Only tough people last. Um, so in these tough times where tough people last, right? Um. My question is, we're seeing a rise in mental health issues okay um and i'm not just talking about obviously anxiety depression not talking about people i'm talking about like other things okay arising um for the growing for the people who are growing up in this place where it's actually easier to talk i guess about your mental health or it should be easier because of like the kind of facilities around um what advice what one advice would you give 
to someone who is really struggling with how they look, how they feel, or what they're doing in life, they're just not satisfied. What what advice could you give to that person? I mean, you could say all this stuff like, oh, don't worry, focus on yourself, and don't worry about what other people are saying or thinking. Look inwards. But this is coming from personal experience. People have told me these same things, but then coming from my side, like it's easier said than done. So it's like, again, like how to phrase it, how to do it so that it clicks in their brain and they actually acknowledge it and try like those sort of things like not thinking about what people say or think about you like you can say it all you want and be really genuine and come across understanding but again it's the individual person how they are going to take it and if they can acknowledge it and actually put it into practice like I said it's easier said than done just someone sitting there saying oh don't worry about what someone thinks or be depressed oh just don't worry enjoy something enjoy some music that you like eat food that you like go to bed in your favorite pajamas watch a movie that you enjoy and cheer up right to some people they're more worse than others so like how are they gonna actually phrase the words or come across to the person who's struggling so that that person can actually acknowledge it or take it into practice and get better it's easier said than done. You can't always get it across to them, especially the people that are more worse off than others. And Gary, so going from what you said, uh, um, I think when you said when you asked this question about them being insecure and ugly, like what Jamie said, we can't give the advice, like those advice here, those general advice. But at the same time, when it comes to if you don't like your physical looks. Like even if we're being genuine, oh, you don't look ugly, you actually look nice, and you've good compliments, it's all down to the person. Like the term, you need to love yourself first before you love others. So anyway, so when it comes to, um, let's say, like, it's a, it's a lot in this world, whether it's one feature or your whole body, that you have insecurities because they don't think it's good features or it doesn't look good on them, you know, or they get bullied, but, yeah. So you need to, like, the person, it depends on the person itself, but the person itself, needs to be like, yeah, I'm beautiful, yeah, this looks good to me, or I like these features, this, that. They need to implement that into them. So then... Different people are going to... Um, some people can get over it and move on, if yeah. you will, quicker than others. Like, some people fester. And, like, me, I don't know about you, but I'll probably... If someone said something, I wouldn't care, but I'd fester now and again, depending... Again, depending who said it and how they said it. Some things I might fester a bit more longer with looks or something, with my hair, whatever, clothes. Like some people can like, yeah, whatever, they can go over it instantly, but other people it takes them a long time to get over it, longer than others. Yeah. So the first thing I would say is um, love yourself. And um, another thing is like to the younger kids, just don't literally like, don't care about other people's opinion. Just focus on yourself. Like also, if they do make comments, whether it's physical or I don't know, mental, anything, just think as it. Just think of it like what benefit they're bringing to you into your life. If they're bringing no benefit, then what's the point stressing over it? And then you just it messes with your head mentally, and then that leads to many other things, you know, and many other thoughts. Yeah, one practical thing I guess you could do. Just, is just literally, maybe. just do what you enjoy. Don't care about other people's opinions. Mm. Just like a general yeah, advice. Do what me. makes you happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy, what were you yeah. saying? Practical. Um, something practical you can do in the morning is sit there, get a notepad or something, and sit there and write down maybe five to ten good things about yourself that you know you like or you know that is true. Say something about your appearance or your personality. Just write five or ten things down on a notepad or piece of paper every day in the morning that you like about yourself, positive things. Oh, my hair's good. I like my like my nose, I've got this nice jacket or coat that I like to wear, it's really comfy and warm or whatever, it could be, again, your favourite pyjamas that you like to sleep in at night, or something, just positive things about yourself that you like, and you can be grateful and happy for, and love yourself about, and do that more on a regular basis, eventually you'll start believing it, and you'll, you'll get better over time might not happen straight away that's one thing you do need to understand some something ain't just gonna happen overnight it has to take time like with anything going to the gym going jogging 
career, like nothing happens overnight. So just be patient, and eventually something will happen. The more consistently you do it, the quicker it will become real. Yeah. Another thing I'll add is, um, like on this topic of mental health, I mean, this whole podcast is about it. Like, don't be scared to seek professional help, whether it's therapy or other things that, you know, my knowledge on that is not that wide, but don't be scared or anxious to seek for med- uh, seek for professional help. Because the phrase, you know, um, what's this, Sadiq, man? The physical, uh, the thing is more important, like, your mental health is important as your physical health. And like er- everyone goes through like different life experiences, trauma. We don't know because people don't show it. So yeah, exactly, you don't know what they go through. So then, obviously, when stuff like that happens, comments, ugly, just anything, bullying, anything that's bad, it's just gonna put more an effect on them. And then, depending on the people surrounded by them, whether it's family, friends, or whatever, if the support is not there, then it. They're just gonna go more like in, into darker places, and it's just gonna affect them more mentally. And another thing I'll say is like, like don't keep things like anything, yeah, like in your chest. Always let it out. Tell someone, anyone, like someone you trust, whether it's a teacher, your family member, friend, call anyone. Tell some at least one person. Another thing, even if you can't help yourself out at the moment. Do try though, please try. But if you can't, then help someone else out, like a friend or a family member. If someone else is feeling down or feeling insecure, or whatever about themselves, help them out. And sometimes that makes you feel better as well because you've helped someone else out. You've helped someone get over something. You've helped, some, helped someone feel better about themselves in one way. So, yeah, and also helping them out, the person is going through whatever they are it would kind of make them feel better. They're like, oh, someone actually cares. They're asking about me, you know, this, that. They're helping me. They're supporting me. They, they, they're doing this. They're doing that. So even though it's something small, like even having that small tool, for them mentally, it's a big... Life-changing. Uh, yeah, life-changing, yeah. Thanks, Jimmy. And help them out, yeah. So, yeah. Not lean on each other, like, yeah. all the time, like, you've got to drag me around. Yeah. Just now and again, like, you help me out, I help you out help each other out as shrek uh, says better out than in he always says okay <laughs> um better out than in always yeah exactly so uh, when i was a uh, when i was doing my masters i did a dissertation on this um about language and uh, mental health and there was some studies that found speaking about your mental health like speaking out about things you know what it's not always mental health let's say you're angry okay speaking about it and letting it out is better for you it's called some something called emotion regulation yeah our emotions they're like kind of like a power bar okay let's pretend like in a game you have a power bar right and something makes us angry okay the power bar goes up something makes us sad power bar goes up again again when the power bar is full there's only a few things either which is going to uh make you explode okay let that out through could be shouting could be fighting could be hurting someone else or there's the opposite which is it can rather than explode it implode meaning it it explodes inside you what happens is you switch off as a person yeah i can't feel anything anymore i've become numb to things blah 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 blah. speaking about um what you're feeling even if it's happiness it regulates your emotion why because we have one mouth and we have two ears okay meaning we speak less we listen more right but often we also forget to listen to ourselves yeah there's been times where i've been irritated at something i just talk to myself like oh you know blah 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 blah. i sound probably crazy but in that moment i help myself understand that okay you know what i'm just going off the rails a bit okay or there's sometimes i'm speaking to a friend of mine and why do is i talk to them i explain what's going on and then they literally slap me back into reality like that's what you're upset about are you stupid you know look at this and this and this right i know that doesn't work for everyone but if you don't try it you don't know okay and the other thing i was going to say is um 
like we're giving advice and saying it's going to be okay and you know it's going to be all right and you know just work on yourself sometimes tough love is needed and i'm not talking about other people need to give you tough love to self tough love yeah you need to say to yourself sometimes that you know what like you know what gary said that physical uh, health is just as mental health is just as important as physical health right yeah so if you're doing if you if you want to lose weight or you want to get healthier you want your blood to pump more what do you do you exercise right when you're mentally struggling with stuff you need to also put yourself through some a bit of a strain and a stress to get rid of it do you understand sitting there and trying to get rid of it by reading a book or by do you know eating food or something is not going to get rid of it you have to sometimes just get up and say you know what i've had enough of this i'm going to fix it yeah that's this is my day this is my week this is my house this is my life this is my money and you have to take control and say you know what that's mine i should not be feeling like this i'm a normal yeah and the moment you say that to yourself and you start working on yourself bit by bit by bit it will get better but you have to be tough on yourself sometimes because without that tiny bit of discipline it's only a matter of time be- before you start feeling sad again okay and when you do have that discipline when you do feel sad again you feel depressed and anxious again there is you know a, a much more fierce level of control you have over yourself and this is not maybe i haven't experienced that so i can't give the best advice on it but i know people who are the toughest people why not because you know they they can lift a house or a car they're tough because when things are tough when things are messy when things are absolutely hell yeah they stand their ground and they're like you know what i'm not going to take this that's the strongest person in my opinion um so is there anything left to add yeah i want to add something go for it i don't know about you guys i, I wouldn't say i fully experiences maybe 50 percent, but definitely the people around me like for certain people you can maybe agree to this yeah like your home or wherever you're staying like whatever happened that happened and you're just stuck there and like what Sadiq said you're just staying there and you're not going out and you're trying to fix things by just staying there it's like it's going to make it worse so you need to force yourself get up and go even just like go out seeing the sun when it's sunny that will give some sort of joy it's that's like it's like what we spoke about appreciating the little things in life yeah that as well as what we said in the podcast first or second smaller steps is better than bigger steps or a step is better yeah so you have to start somewhere so don't be always stuck in that place your room because that's where you think and you know your mind and your forces go <laughs> all around the world to start literally going like even a little walk outside in the fresh air just embrace nature i got the quote for today i got the quote for today go on finish yeah that's it man you have to get out of your your the place where you live because sometimes they can make it worse man i know i'm repeating myself but i just want to like implement it into the head of the viewers that are going through a difficult time yeah there's you know what in all honesty i'm sure we have some stories that we can share um but obviously due to lack of time you know it's difficult to do so but yeah there will be future episodes where we will you know go a bit more personal and uh, hopefully our stories will help you learn if hopefully the stories we already told you have helped you a little bit um but you know make sure you don't miss a single episode make sure you're subscribed uh we'll talk about more important topics like this very often uh, or regularly i should say uh if you like this episode please do leave a like uh, and do subscribe and share it with your friends uh comment down below what your thoughts are on mental health or any of the topics we discussed today um um if there's any topics that you, that you guys want us to talk about just let us know down below or even on our socials like instagram tiktok on youtube comments as well and yeah we will leave some important links in today's description uh and uh, last but not least what is the quote of the week this week okay the quote this week is if you can't sprint jog if you can't jog walk if you can't walk crawl but as long as you're moving forwards beautiful honestly that's, that's some, beautiful that's some beautiful quote man. 
But yeah, that's us done for today. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, once again, leave a like, subscribe. And until next time. Peace out. Bye. Bye, big up Martin. See you next time.